what's up welcome to my channel if you're new here if you're clicking on strictly because of the title love is blind welcome hit that subscribe button for me please thumbs up the video and drop a comment down below but if you're not new here this is a new show to my channel like i told y'all if you watch me every day or if you watch me every time i post if you was on my live last night i kind of teased what i was doing this week i told you i was starting a new show and this is it. Love is Blind, DC. Season 7, I believe this is. I just started watching this show last season because they were in Charlotte. I'm from Charlotte. I live in Charlotte. So I started watching it because somebody that I knew was on it. So <laughs> I, But that's not primarily why I watched. I watched because they were in Charlotte. But I happened to know somebody that was on the show and went to high school with me. But um, yeah, I wanted to tackle this because DC looks good. I like DC. I been to dc numerous times before so i definitely wanted to do this the seasons where they have when they're in certain states and cities that seem interesting to me have a history of being messy those are the ones that i typically want to do but this one looked like it's good and this one's a good one for me to start on me and movie bay was going to do this one on live like do this analysis on live but time got away from us and the episode drops tomorrow so with well, the episodes i think they dropped like four of them Every week, so I'm gonna try and do them as soon as I can. Probably try and do like one episode a day. So, enough of that. Like I said, if you're new here, please thumbs up the video, drop a comment down below. If you're not new here, y'all should already know that. And if you're new, most importantly, subscribe. Please do that as well. But enough of me ranting, we're gonna get into this cast analysis. Okay, so we are going to start off with the men. We're gonna move through. This is the first man that is on the cast page for the announcement. So let me move myself out of the way so I can read. So the first one we got looks to be Bowden. I hope I'm not saying his name wrong. I'm probably saying it wrong, but we'll figure that out once the show starts airing. He is 36 years old. He works in tech sales. He's a Leo, as am I. So I'm rooting for a Leo. Please be a good person. He's a proud immigrant and a Ukrainian refugee. He says that he is beyond grateful to now be living what he considers the American dream. My parents brought me to this country, so I think I've made them proud by fulfilling what they came here to do. Any future partner must embrace his history and his unique upbringing because it gives people a more, a more complete look at what he values and when he's, where he's at. I'm trying to read this. I can't read it. It's too small. <laughs> and where he's coming, where he comes from. The former Marine was previously married, so he was previously married for five years so he seems like somebody who was actually interested in actually being in a committed long-term relationship i agree with what he's saying when it comes to wanting somebody that actually wants to embrace his history his culture everything that makes him him so i i completely agree with that um he considers the craziest thing that he's done for love him getting married for five years is the craziest thing you've done for love okay oh wait no i'm reading it now okay I ignored some red flags because I was in love. Now that's that's a that's something that you shouldn't do. As a, as at thirty, what he's thirty six years old, you shouldn't be ignoring red flags. Like if they're clear, you need to pay attention to that and assess if that's something that you want to continue to pursue. So hopefully he's grown and <laughs> decides to not ignore those in this um, experience. But since he so since then, Bowden has become crystal clear about. What he's searching for, thanks uh, to the power of time and therapy. So he goes to therapy, which is good. It's always good to go to therapy. I think so. Um, but picky eaters need to not apply. <laughs> I'm a picky eater as well. If you're eating chicken nuggets all day and not open to trying other foods and I don't want it. That's something, <laughs> that's something that with me being out here dating and stuff, that's one thing that I have to work on myself. I'm a picky, I'm a picky eater. I'll take you wherever you want to go, but me, I don't really care to eat anything besides chicken and seafood. <laughs> but we'll see what's up with him. Um, that's his first. That's my rough analysis right now. I ain't going to give too much of a thought because I don't know these people. I'm just reading them off their bios. Um, this is the next guy that we got, David. He's 29 years old, same age as me. He's a project manager. He's a tourist. For the past six years, he's a former Navy officer. A, far, a former Navy officer. Um, he's been feeling a bit well at sea when it comes to dating. I've constantly been away, and even then, I've been close to proposing. 
So I've constantly been away, I guess, because he was in the Navy. And even then, I've become close to proposing. So I guess his relationships have gotten serious to the point where he wants to propose, only to fall short because of the logistical difficulties of long distance. That is a big thing. That is a big thing. Me, I feel like me in a relationship at my age, long distance, I don't I don't want to be in a long distance relationship. I want to actually be able to be with you at all times or at least be with you when I can when I want to be with you. Um, he says now that David has hung up his sailor's cap, so he's no longer active. Apparently, he settled back on land in a new city and ready to be both physically and emotionally available for love. I want to find my person, delete the dating apps and just start living my life with the love of my life. But any future partner who wants to get serious with David must respect the number one woman in his life. To the key to my heart is a woman who can get my mother's definite approval. I agree with that. You definitely have to respect your mom. You have to respect. I feel like anybody, if you don't respect your mother, I feel like that's a red flag. Woman or man. Like, you need to be respectful of your mother. But to him, I hope he ain't a mama's boy to where, like, Everything that you do is dependent on what she deems necessary or approvable, if that's a word. But <laughs> make your own decisions. Yes, respect his mother, but make your own decisions. We'll move to Garrett. He is 33 years old. He's a quantum physicist, Taurus. The only real catch, Garrett reeled in over the, the past four. I'm trying to read this. It's so small to me while I'm trying to show this to y'all. Um... Over the past few years, he came from the water. During his weekend spearfishing adventures, I have not had any luck on the dating scene, he says. I've worked on myself. I worked myself into a corner where I don't put any effort to meet women. So are you actively dating? Because if you ain't putting in any effort to meet these women, are you actively dating? Now he's casting a wider net to prioritize his love life after realizing a long-term relationship is what he's really after. Okay, as a driven quantum scientist, Garrett is using or he's used to leading with his head, but he's ready to dive head first, heart first into. I'm so distracted right now. Let me read this back again. As a driven quantum scientist, Garrett is used to leading with his head, but he's ready to dive heart first into the experience. If an outdoorsy, confident, and down-to-earth woman is waiting on the other side of the pods, he'll get down on one knee and propose sight unseen. So he wants a girl that seems to be very much on the fly. Uh, She likes being outdoors. An adventurous girl. Somebody that's, yeah, confident is a big thing. That's a big thing because nobody wants to be with an insecure woman. Like, same thing with a a woman with a man. They don't want to be with, nobody wants to be with somebody who's insecure. So you need to be confident within yourself. That's number one. Down to earth, I understand that as well. Outdoorsy. Seems like he likes to be outside. He likes to go out on trips where he's primarily outside, probably doing a lot more outdoorsy type of things. So we'll see who actually fits that mold for him. The next one, we got Jason. He's a loan officer. He's a Pisces heading into the experience. Jason isn't true if he's ever truly, he's not sure if he's ever truly been in love before. And it's not for the lack of trying it as he admits to wasting time on the wrong girls. He knew he had never married. Okay. I've been very timid and not entirely put myself out there, he says. But now that Jason is in his 30s, he's developed a sincere longing to find a soulmate with whom he can start a family and make his mom happy in the process. So it sounds like your mama really wants you to be (laughs) starting that family. I feel like everybody's like that. My mama's the same way, too. But do it for you. Don't do it for your mama. As for what he's looking for, uh, somewhat proper and definitely intellectual women who appreciate the stable life Jason's built for himself. What do you mean somewhat proper? Like, does she have to be prim and kind of like super cut? Like, when I say super cut, like borderline perfect, that somewhat proper is interesting. Definitely intellectual is also interesting. Are you trying to say that you date stupid girls in the past? But um, including a booming rental business will fit the bill. But Jason knows he's going to have to put, a, put work aside sometimes for the right person, which is true. Can't always engulf yourself in work, which is good to have a job, a healthy job that you care about, um, one that you enjoy going to where you're going to be able to provide for yourself and your family. But you also got to make time for your woman. 
But uh, in response to text from time to time, so it sounds like he's not an active communicator. My worst habit is being a terrible texter. He says, I'm not great communicating when I'm busy. Just what I just said. Don't sound like he's a great communicator. That's a, that's a big part of a relationship. You got to communicate. If you can't text, at least call and be like, hey, I'm busy right now. I'm going to hit you whenever I'm free. Leo, 31 years old. He's an art dealer. He's an Aries. Successful and sophisticated Leo spends his days running his family's growing art dealing business. But when he clocks out of work, Leo likes to get in touch with his spiritual side. I'm really into yoga and meditating, so it seems like he might be a calm person. I have a real crunchy part to me, which people don't often see day to day. A real crunchy part of him. What does he mean by that? His ideal partner would vibe on the same level, and if she happens to laugh at his goofy jokes, even better. Leo tends to gravitate towards girly girls in real life, but he's leaving his usual type behind to let the experiment work its magic. That's good. At least he's open to trying new things. Like, if it didn't work in the past, you might as well come in here and try and explore and see what new thing. I don't I don't want to say you can't follow the same thing that you used to do, but be open to everything. Like, hear every single one of these girls out and see which one actually might possibly be something that you're worth investing. Um, Where was I at? In fact, he'll do just anything to break the cycle of bars, dating apps, and superficial dates he's been stuck in. To find someone who truly values a meaningful connection. I agree with that. I agree with that. Me, I don't like dating apps. Going out <laughs> to clubs and stuff. Trying to find somebody. I agree. I agree with that. Alright, moving on. Nick D, 29 years old. He's a real estate agent. He's an Aquarius. A former All-American college football player. Nick retired his cleats when his dreams of playing in the NFL came to an end. But after building a stable real estate career and investing in his own happiness, he set his eyes on a new goal. I'm the perfect version of myself right now. And the next step in this journey is to find a perfect wife. I'm the perfect version of himself. So he's I guess he's excited and he's happy with and content where he is in his life right now. He wanted to go play professional football, but now he's a real estate agent. Seems like his career, his real estate agent career is booming right now. So that's good for him. He's got the stability. And it looks like he's now in that space to where he can actually bring in somebody else with him. He says, while Nick isn't attracted to a specific type of woman physically, ambition and confidence are major turn ons because his ideal partner won't need him to feel complete. That is true. I agree with that. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, I don't want someone who's going to latch on to me and ride my wave. I agree with that. <clears throat> you got to have some motion yourself too. Me as a man, I want to provide I want to provide for my woman, but I want you to also have something you doing as well. Like don't always be attached to everything I'm doing. I want to provide for you, I want to provide for our family, but you got to have your own motion too. Go do something else. Like go start a business as well too. Have your own. So I agree with that. I want someone who's going to provide value to my life and I want to do the same for them. Exactly. Like we both going to work. We both got our own things going on to where together we're a power couple. We bring we bring a type of energy to each other that makes us better. So I agree with that. Nick. Nick P. 31 years old. Commercial real estate brokerage. Sagittarius. Oh, he's a dad. So we got our first dad. Proud dad. Nick is a hopeless romantic. Who's looking to switch up his dating strategy to find a future wife in the pods? I've only formed deep connections with women who've checked off the physical box. He says, I've been looking for the one through the wrong lens. So that sounds like he might have only been looking at physicality instead of what's inside, which is true. A lot of beautiful, I ain't gonna say a lot of beautiful women, but there are a lot of women that physically got it going on that don't have it on in here. Like this ain't on, and then there's, a lack of personality like i say physically with me physicality is important for me like i gotta be physically attracted to you because that's a part of a relationship you gotta be sexually attracted to the person and if i don't find you physically attractive it's not gonna do nothing for me but when we're not doing and engaging in physical activity if you feel what i'm saying I need to be able to sit around you and just enjoy being around you, laughing, talking, not even talking. I can, we can just sit in the same room and barely say anything and still feel comfortable. That is important. Um, 
But he says, I've been looking for the one through the wrong lens. And now he wants an emotionally fulfilled and a long last. He wants to be emotionally fulfilled in a long lasting relationship with a woman who full, who will fully embrace him and his nine year old. So he got a nine year old and he's how old? 31. So he had that baby like 21, 22. He's my wife. So it's good. He's putting his son. It's good. It's not like he's a good dad. Nick uh, says about his child, every step he takes, every amount he grows in any fashion, I'm completely tickled. And if all else fails, he'll just tap into the force to guide him through the experiments, highs and lows. I'm a huge Star Wars guy. People hate, but it's the best movie series ever. So it seems like he's a very hands on uh, dad with him saying like every step he takes, every amount he grows. Seems like he's very active in that child's life, which is a plus. It's going to be interesting to see which woman is going to catch his eye and which woman he's going to, which woman's eye he's going to catch. And then whenever he decides to bring this to the forefront, which is going to be a talk, this is going to be a conversation that needs to be had. And I hope he brings it up before they leave the pods because he needs to know before. And you should know, you should bring that up before you propose. You need to hear whoever you're feeling like you want to propose to. You need to know if she's interested and finds, what am I trying to say? If she wants to actually indulge in a relationship with somebody who has a nine-year-old. So, but all in all, it sounds like he's an active dad, so you can't be mad at that, but let's keep it moving. Next, Perry. He's 31 years old. He's a realtor. We got a lot of realtors, (laughs) a lot of people that's working in real estate. He's a Libra. Six months as a single guy in D.C. has left Perry seeking other options for finding a lifelong partner. It is the type of town when uh, you get asked out on LinkedIn. I can believe that. I've been dating for years, trying to find that special person. And when he has met someone on a traditional dating app, the experience hasn't been what it ex- what he expected. I showed up to an online date and she was a completely different person. That is my biggest fear. A lot of my friends tell me to get on a dating app, and that was that is always my answer. I don't want to be talking to somebody online, then I go and meet her, and then she's like physically not what I thought she was, personality-wise not what I thought. That's why I have to, I want to meet you in person, and we got to build off of that. And energy is important, just a natural connection straight out the gate. You're going to know if you're actually going to be interested in pursuing that, and I feel like what you do online can be completely different in real life. Like the energy that you give online can be completely different in person. So I agree with that. But he says, I just went on with it and we had a nice time. I didn't ever call out the elephant in the room, but nothing, not even a catfish will stop Perry's pursuit of love as he always dreamed of getting married and starting his own family. And whoever locks down Perry in the pods can look forward to a lifetime of a breakfast treat. So it's not like he liked to cook. I'm great at baking bagels. He says, sesame, everything, poppy seed, really whatever you want. All right, cool. This is the first black dude. He looked like he might be on the uh, Native American side. Ramsey's 35 years old. He's a program associate at the Justice Reform nonprofit. He's a cancer. Emotional. (laughs) Ramsey's hasn't felt fully understood by his past partner. So being seen and accepted as... He is, is what matters most going forward. Vulnerability is his superpower in relationships, and he hopes to meet a woman who can reciprocate the depth of emotion he has to offer. So it sounds like he might be one of them niggas that actually expresses himself in a relationship. If he has an issue, he's going to bring it to his woman, which is a good trait to have. Now, when he says he doesn't feel like he's been seen and accepted as he is, that's interesting because if you're <clears throat> used to being vulnerable and actually speaking upon your emotions, how can you not be seen? That's going to be interesting to figure out and see how he acts in here. But um, and if so, he'll be all ears as he counts listening as one of his best qualities. Good. You need to be able to listen to your partner whenever they talk about whatever issues they have. Ramsey's has plenty of experience with love as he's previously been married. So you previously been married and you haven't been you haven't felt seen and accepted and you was married. So you got down on one knee and proposed to this woman and did not feel seen and accepted as who you are. That's interesting. Interesting. 
My first marriage came to an end because ultimately we grew in different directions and it was what it was be- it was what was best for the both of us. 4 years later he's now here from the divorce and entering into an experiment with an even clearer understanding of the woman with whom he wants to spend his life with. So it sounds like he might have been single for 4 years after the divorce. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Next, Raymond, 33 years old, he's a consultant. He is a Sagittarius. Since graduating college, self-made military man Ray hasn't stayed at the same address for more than a year. So it sounds like he likes to move. Well, he has to move, being a military man. But after planting roots in D.C., he's done with long-distance relationships. Now Ray is searching for a long, a lifelong partner who can appreciate all sides of his personality. I just want people to know that I'm a complex human, complex human being. I love that I'm multiracial. What other right? Okay. He's multiracial. He looks Asian to me. I wonder what else is there to him. Um, So it's kind of hard to put a tab on me. In addition to his military service, Ray also picked up degrees from Oxford and Yale. Homeboy is smart. (laughs) Smart as fuck. As a military man, I can be shoved into a box. But actually, what really helped me through that experience was being really big into musical theater in my childhood. So he sounded like he might know how to sing and dance. He says stage presence translates to command presence. Dance choreography translates to marching in step and stage makeup into. Com- OK, sounds like he's trying to equate his musical theater background to real life. OK, cool. All right. So we're now going to move to Stephen, 34 years old. He's an electrician. Uh, he's a cancer, fun, outgoing. Steven also knows uh, about keeping the spark alive as a professional electrician. <laughs> but when it comes to love, he hasn't been able to make it work past the two year, the two year mark. Interesting. Um, I wonder why. Leaving him eager to find a long lasting partnership in the pies. The former Marine is a lot of Marines and a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of men that have been in the armed forces and there's a lot of real estate agents. That's the common thing theme here i'm shocked we haven't ran into a politician yet but um he refuses to settle because he understands his worth after spending uh the past year learning how to be the best version of himself and he expects the same from his future wife as he's looking for an emotionally intelligent woman to match his energy my type is a woman who wants you but doesn't need you wants you but doesn't need you Independent, confident woman. I agree. Exhausted by the uh, appearance-driven DC dating scene, Stephen is now on the hunt to connect over laughs, and if he has his way, a Lord of the Rings movie marathon. I agree with him on that. Uh, My type of woman is the one that wants you but doesn't need but doesn't need you, which means you're not clingy. If you want me and need me, that means that you're gonna always be up under me. Like, and like I say, I notoriously say it. If you haven't watched me, uh, my Love Island videos, you don't know. I said it every single day. Me as the man, I need to be more obsessed with you than you are me. If you are more obsessed with me than I am with you, it's not going to work. I need breathing room. <laughs> like, you got to, you got to, you got to, I got to want you more than me. No, I got to want you more than you want. I got to want you more than you want me. Basically, I need to be the one pursuing you a lot more than you pursuing me. So I agree with him on that. Next, we got another black. I'm going to say Tamar or either Tamar. It's one of the two. 33 years old, video editor and animator. He's a Taurus. He's looking to break his single forever mindset after riding solo for the last five years. When it comes to relationships, Tamar always seems to find the right one at the worst time, leaving him curious about less conventional dating options. In fact, he took part in the Love is Blind inspired singles event for people in his hometown in Baltimore. Okay, so he's tried this experience before. In the end, I didn't match with anybody, but I actually gained a good number of friendships out of it, he says. Heading into the pods. So it's, that's a good sign. <clears throat> the fact that he's kind of already did this before makes it seem like he's actually going to come in here and actually engulf himself in the experience the way it's supposed to be done. Like, fully get to know that person on the inside before actually seeing them outside. And it doesn't seem like he... Well, it seems like he's he's interested in actually trying to fall in love with the person in here first before this, which is good. That's that's the whole point of you being here. 
Um, he's looking to avoid past mistakes and connect with an independent woman who can easily integrate into his friend group. He's not big on drama queens and vegans. I know a lot of women <laughs> gonna be like, "What you mean? You ain't big on drama queens?" It's not like he don't. He's not one for conflict, <clears throat> which could be good and bad. Cause like I feel like relationships, you gonna have moments where you don't always agree, and if you don't, I find those type of relationships not genuine. You gonna have moments where you disagree about something, and it's all dependent on how you handle it. But as his ex had a habit of blowing things out of proportion. I just couldn't live with that anymore. He says, I like to be drama free in my life as possible. <clears throat> we'll see how he moves in the house. We got another black Tim, 33 years old, web content strategist. He's a Virgo, um, self-proclaimed old soul. Same here. I'm an old soul too. Has been set on marriage from a young age, but among his group of friends, his pursuit of love has become something of running of a running joke. As they've been waiting not so patiently for him to find his person. My friends have always joked about uh, that my dating life has been like a reality show. He says, they're like, oh, Tim's dating someone else in this year. <laughs> so it sounds like he's just actively dating. But he won't rest until he finds his soulmate as Tim uh, believes none of his past partners have truly been able to fully understand him. Did I read two lines? I definitely overread that line. Tim believes family and marriage are the most important things one can, why can I not see this? <laughs> Tim believes that family and marriage are the most important things one can do in their lifetime. He also believes that none of his past partners have been able to fully understand him. So he's looking to break the streak with a confident and graceful black woman who appreciates direct communication. I wonder what he means by his past partners not being able to fully understand him. What do you mean by that? But it sounds like he's got a type. He wants to be with a black woman. Nice to see a black man on the show actually wanting to be with a black woman. So we'll see how that rides out. My exes would describe me as clear and transparent to a fall. Which is why I'm like, how are, you, how are you saying that you don't feel like they truly fully understood you if you're transparent and clear? And if they say that you was transparent and clear to a fall, then how are they not understanding you fully? Interesting. I would not tell you a beautiful lie, even if you want me to. Okay. Another black guy. So we got we got some niggas on here. <laughs> DC is full of black. Hopefully they got some black women on here. A good amount. Tyler. He's an account manager. He's a Libra. Uh, makes tenderhearted Tyler laugh. Make tenderhearted Tyler laugh. And you'll have his love forever as a former mili another military. Military man has the habit of dating jokesters, but he's ready to get serious about dating after looking for the one in all the wrong places, especially within the status-obsessed DC scene. I've tried to find love every other way, and I'm excited about the experiment because it's something different. He says his last relationship ended because his ex didn't have a lifelong partner. Uh, his ex didn't have her life together. <laughs> what you mean by that <laughs> that's gonna be <laughs> i wonder if he's gonna get into that on here that's gonna be interesting what you mean by she didn't have her life together so now he's searching for a self-possessed woman who can match his energy <laughs> bonus points that she's a horse girl as tyler would love to gallop off into the sunset with his soulmate i used to ride horses professionally and now i do it for fun okay finally the women First one, we got a chocolate sister. She's pretty. She looks very pretty. Alexandra, 33 years old. Producer, she's a Leo. Sure, Alexandra would love a diamond ring on her finger. A diamond on her finger. But she's already got some precious metal of her own. My heart is made of gold. <laughs> Corny. <laughs> I can I can get along with literally anyone I'm really easy to talk to. Good to hear. We'll see if it's true. Unfortunately, her exes haven't exactly handled her heart with care as both of her long-term relationships have ended quite dramatically. Sounds like she might have got cheated on. One ex wasn't upfront about his oh wow. About his sexual orientation, and another one was unfaithful. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's rough. In the past, I've been attracted to what was good for me and didn't have any boundaries. Ultimately, I dated people who didn't care about my well-being. But Alexandra isn't giving up on love, especially if a tall and fine gentleman who leads with compassion and confidence comes into the picture. 
I hope she finds, I hope she connects with somebody who does not do either of the two. <clears throat> it's fully themselves with her and is a truly committing Negro. <laughs> and when I say Negro, that could be a white man. It could be a black man. It could be any type of man. It, give her what she wants. And I hope she can actually find that. So we'll see if she does. Next, we got Allie, 31 years old. A master esthetician. She is a Pisces. Allie is attracted to tall teddy bear men with southern charm. But somehow ends up dating a short, bald man. So she's given up on defining her usual type. But no matter what a guy looks like, he'll go far with Allie if he leads with empathy and his communication skills are on point. Leads with empathy. Yeah. As a woman, that's what women want. They want a man that's actually going to be able to care about their feelings and communicate. After letting far uh, too many situationships run past the expiration date, this beauty and skincare expert isn't clogging up her feed with any more men who aren't willing to commit. I've yet to find the one because I have settled for less than I know I deserve now. Allie is a proud is proud to come from an extremely diverse family, so she's attracted to guys who are all about cultural exploration and who enjoy trying to see who enjoy uh eating different types of foods so she's cultural like that's just really what it is she wants somebody who is super cultural wants to experience and is good with communicating and being empathetic to her and she can find a fellow potter head so she like harry potter okay <laughs> another bad she she look good she look good. Hold on. Ashley A, 32 years old, a marketing director. She looks like one. She's an Aquarius. She's a true ride or die for the people in her life. She's just looking for a man to do the same. Simple. I haven't found someone who protects my heart the way they protect their own. In past relationships, honesty and communication have been in short supply. Why is this a, this is a trend, a trend with these women. Leading, like not having much communication in their relationships. Leading Ashley to go uh, through one former partner's phone. So she didn't trust him. But now she's done playing games with love and wants to open her heart for a faith-driven guy who both appreciates her stealthy sense of humor and quiet quiets her anxieties. Okay, so she just wants somebody to allow her to trust them. Like, allow her to trust them. Which means you got to give me, you got to show me that I can trust you. That's essentially what she's saying. The key to my heart is being able to be soft with a man who I can trust with my heart. She says, so it's not like she's had to really guard her heart a lot. She's always had her guard up and she wants to take that guard down. And if he wouldn't mind joining uh, her on a home goods run from time to time, that just might seal the deal. She likes keeping the house looking nice. That's a woman. Um... I'm thinking as I'm reading this stuff. That's why I'm struggling to finish the sentence because I'm thinking and analyzing every word they're saying. But I like her. Another black queen. Love it. Ashley W. So another Ashley. 32 years old. She is a health and wellness educator, a cancer. Two sides to her. The really girly girl who loves glamming it up and an inner time boy. That's my type of woman. I like a girl that's girly girly, but I like a girl that actually can get out here and play some sports too. I like to get down and dirty and play a lot of sports. Uh, you might think I'm prissy, but I'm very adventurous. I like one that can do both. This uh, dedicated middle school teacher, she's a middle school teacher, uh, is searching for an athletic, compassionate, and well-groomed partner. Very important, well-groomed. To accept every part of her, and if he can pay the bills, even better. So she wants a man to provide for her. That is important. She's probably going to go in there and let that man know. So if she lets you know, you better not lie to her <laughs> because that's something that you did yourself. And don't ruin her relationship. Don't don't ruin her experience. Because if she invests in you and you say that you're going to be a provider and then when it's time to get out there and you don't provide, then you fucked up her experience. But Ashley footed all the expenses. Okay, that's why. Because she sounds like in her past relationship, she was the one that was carrying the bread, which I don't understand with a lot of niggas nowadays. Me? I'm the type, I come from a family where both of my parents are still together. They've been together for like 32 years. They both go hand in hand on finances and stuff. But my dad, if push comes to shove, he would be the provider. Me, I want to provide for my family. I want to provide for my family. Me as a man, that's what I want. I want to provide. I don't want my woman 
taking care of me. To me, I feel like that's the most, is it demasculinating or emasculinating? Regardless, I feel like that takes your masculine masculinity away when you're allowing your woman to take care of you like that, unless you're, unless you can't do it. When I say you can't do it, like physically can't do it. Say you're going through like health issues or whatever, and she's got to take care of you. Then that's one thing, but finances and stuff, I feel like you as a man, you should want to take care of your woman. And with us being a union, yes, I would like some help, but I want to provide. We should be able to go in together as a unit. We should. My money is your money, <clears throat> essentially. That's what I want. When I'm when I get married, that's what I'm. That's what it's going to be because I trust you. But um, she said he didn't have a car, a place to stay, or a good job. <sighs> And you stay, so I provided pretty much everything, but I was okay with it because I loved him. After a journey of self acceptance during the COVID 19 pandemic, Ashley has finally embraced her confidence and raised her standards. It took me a long time to find my worth and be at peace with my alone time. Good, you gotta love being by yourself first before you can be with somebody else. Next, we got Brittany, she's pretty, esthetician, she's a cancer, that's the second esthetician I done heard. Um, she regularly collects garbage with her Baltimore-based beach cleanup organization. 10,000 pounds so far. So let's just say she has little to no patience for dating trash men. <laughs> Instead, this esthetician and environmentalist is drawn to guys who are just as adventurous as she is, which has led her to date a rock star. I wonder which one she's dated. I've had a crazy, crazy life, she says. My exes would describe me as a wild card because... My interests change all the time. Brittany has a preference for dating older men, especially if they happen to look like blonde Viking, like a blonde Viking with long hair. So it sounds like a lot of these people are into this medieval type shit. There was one dude that liked uh, Lord of the Rings. She might be that one for him. But most importantly, Brittany is just seeking a real commitment with a future oriented partner who appreciates jet setting and stability in equal measure. So she wants somebody who is adventurous. She wants to travel. That's what it sounds like. Jet said, and stability. Got to have your money together. Have a career. Next, we've got Dylan, thirty years old. She's a realtor and an artist. We got you. Got a lot of men to relate to on that really <laughs> on that realtor. She's an Aries. The key to her heart is not is not only understanding her weirdness but embracing it. Sounds like she's quirky. I'm that crazy friend uh, friend people bring around to have a good time and do something out of their element. This multifaceted hustler is all about her business as a Baltimore-based real estate agent, but always makes the time to tap into her artistic side, be it painting, woodworking, building furniture, or whatever creative pursuit she can channel her energy into. After years of dating chaos... <laughs> years of dating chaos i wonder what kind of chaos she was experiencing with these dating uh stories dylan says that she needed to take a break and tap back into her inner peace i have spent time with people i loved and i forgot to love myself that is very important i hope she found that love within herself because you can't come into a, a show trying to meet men and don't have that love within yourself you got to love yourself first before you can love anybody else um, in the pod, she hopes to meet a motivated and goofy guy with whom she can go to distance. And if he can teach her how to finally ride a bike, it might be the perfect match. Next, we have Hannah, 27 years old, medical device sales, Aquarius. Depending on who you ask, Hannah's lack of filter, she's blunt, she sounds like she might be funny, is either a blessing or a curse when it comes to her dating life. I'm a very honest person. I love that. She says it sometimes comes off rude or heartless, but it's just me looking out for others. Best interest. She might be the entertaining one. <laughs> Sound like she going to say some shit that you might not be right to say, but she going to end up saying it. So I, I like blunt people. I'm the same way. Um, I really do have a kind heart. After three years of being single, this self-proclaimed country girl is ready to kick her dating life or kick her dating life into high gear and finally let somebody else take control. She sounds like she's the dominant girl. I can't find uh, the love of my life from the comfort of my couch. She says that she's uh, hoping to make a soul, a soul connection with an ambitious man who will make her communication style and become a dog. 
<laughs> a dog dad to her. Okay. <laughs> I was, I'm like, where's she going with this? Become a dog dad to her uh, fur baby Luna. She's got a dog. Uh, plus her West Virginia draw is sure to make an impression on the guys. See, I'm sitting here thinking as I'm reading this. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Stay with me. Plus her West Virginia draw is sure to make an impression on the guys on the other side of the pods. We've got another lady, Miss Katie, 36 years old, sports marketing manager. Sports marketing, I like it. Taurus, uh, she worries that some may hold preconceived notions about why she's 35 and single. People assume that I'm crazy, but I'm actually the opposite. I'm way too cool and let everybody get away with everything. Sounds like a pushover. A former college lacrosse player, she says that she wasted too much time with the wrong ones. She has a history of chasing emotions. Now, that's that's what I was talking about, chasing emotionally unavailable men and trying to turn them into the ideal partner. She's a cute girl, too. I don't think you need to be chasing nobody. Let them chase you. Um, what was I at? <laughs> Working in the world of sports hasn't helped her either. As she says, some believe she comes off cold or emasculinating. Hmm. Though nothing could be further from the though nothing could be further from the truth. I'm a big love bug, she says. I want an alpha man, someone to say that that's my girl and pick her. And I pick her. I've never had someone actually choose me. It's cause you're doing too much chasing. There's too many men out here. You ain't gotta chase these men. The one that really wants you is going to let you know that they want you. And if Katie does meet the love of her life in the prize, she'll shout it from the rooftops again and again. As her worst habit is being repetitive, or I'll tell the same story over and over. Another black queen. Another one. And they got some bodies on them. Marissa, 32 years old. She's a lawyer. She's an independent woman. She's an Aries. By joining Love is Blind, Marissa is hoping to tug on the invisible string she believes connects her with her future husband. We are still our individual on our individual journeys, but hopefully he's there. While spending seven years in the Navy, okay, she got plenty of men that she can relate to on that, uh, didn't exactly work wonders for her dating life. She has no regrets about her military service. That experience is the thing that I'm most proud of. Uh, since then, the recent law school graduate has prioritized her studies over just about everything else, and now she's looking to start a new chapter, hopefully with an intelligent and empathetic partner who doesn't mind her habit of burping out loud. <laughs> I do the same things. I would. It wouldn't bother me. But um, in the past, Marissa says guys have tended to realize way too late that they were not ready for a relationship. Men fall in love with my looks and charms, but don't take the time to really get to know me. That's interesting. We got a lot of a lot of black queens on here, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But we in D.C., so you should have a lot on here. Monica, 37 years old. She's a sales executive. 37. She's a Gemini. Um, scroll through her Instagram, you might assume that she's a complete extrovert who's always at a music festival or on the dance floor. I have a big personality and I tend to be the life of the party, but I'm also incredibly sensitive. She says deep down, all Monica wants is to meet a man or meet the man of her dreams and start a family. But her love life hasn't exactly gone smoothly in the recent years. The craziest thing that I've done for love is forgive a cheater. You can't ever. I personally believe once you cheat once, you very likely gonna do it again. Me, you cheat on me. That's it. We, I'm done. I'm done. I feel like that's the most disrespectful thing you can do to anybody in a relationship is to cheat on them. If you feel like your head is turning or you feel like you want to entertain somebody else, just be honest with your person. Let them decide to move. And if they don't decide to move, you say I'm cutting it off. I can't disrespect you. It's just that simple. Um, that's why finding someone who makes her feel emotionally safe is a top priority moving forward. And she has a big example to set as a role model for her young, four younger sisters. They're my best friends, and I'm really just uh, proud to be leading our pack. Yeah, set that example. Another black coin. Is she black? She looks like she might be Blasian. She look good, though. 33. Sales team lead. She's an Aries. Spicy. <laughs> there are a few things. Former pageant queen. She looked like a pageant queen. Morgan wishes that she knew uh, about herself. 
I'm smarter than I look. She don't look stupid. She don't look stupid. I'm smarter than I look. I'm extremely kind, open, and honest. The superficiality of modern dating and swiping away on the apps has left Morgan exhausted, as most guys these days can't match her emotional depth. Men aren't willing to do the emotional labor to appreciate what I have to bring to a relationship. Not all men are like that. Some are, but not all. There's plenty of us out here that actually are emotionally available and do have that depth. I like having conversations, like tough conversations, to where I can really see what you're really about. Like that's, I feel like that's what makes a relationship strong. Like you got to be able to have deep conversations, tough conversations. Her one piece of advice for the opposite sex, go to therapy. I agree. And that's for both sexes. Anybody within our community, black community, we don't typically like to go to therapy. Go to therapy. Talk to somebody that don't know you. Just literally vent. That's just really what it is. And get somebody's unbiased opinion on the type of shit that you got going on in your life. But she's done accepting the absolute bare minimum in relationships. Men, even the tall and nerdy ones that she typically goes for, who aren't ready to be genuine partners on every level, won't get past the first date with her. Seems like she knows what she want now. All right, next. She's pretty. This girl right here is pretty. Nina, she's a journalist. She's a Libra. Um, Want to be Nina's lover? Well, then you got to get with her friends and family, including her younger sister, Tara, who is also entering the experiment. Oh, wow. So she's going to be on here, too. So sister's going to be on here together. Okay. If someone doesn't fit in seamlessly with them, it's not going to work. That's it, she says. For the past uh, year, Nina has been healing from the heartbreak of ending a nine-year relationship with her ex-fiance. She's been in a long-term relationship. I hope she's healed from that before she she comes in here. Because if you ain't healed from a previous relationship that long, you're not going to be able to fully invest in the man that you're trying to be in there with. And it's not going to be fair to him. So, fingers crossed that she is fully healed. I'm proud of the way that I handled that breakup, she says. I've done a lot of work on myself, and now I'm killing it in every aspect. I feel amazing. Okay, well, then she just answered my question. Good. Now that Nina uh, officially entered what she calls her YOLO era, you only live once, she's ready to embrace everything Love is Blind has to offer um, if she can push past her pickiness. But for Nina, what matters most in dating lies in the details. I want someone that remembers the little things I like or I don't like and considers my feelings. That is important. You got to listen to remember that stuff. Next, we got Tara. This is her sister, 29 years old. So she's the older sister. She's the younger sister. Um, she's a Virgo. Taking a leap of faith to find love isn't, isn't exactly new territory to her. Who's joining her sister in the pods. From getting asked out by a server during a meal to moving to Germany for her ex-boyfriend. This social butterfly is open to all connections, no matter where they come from. Sound like she's a hopeless romantic. Um, her dating experience, however, hasn't exactly given her the confidence in me. My past relationships have always been with someone who's insecure with himself. Yikes. And not in the right place in their life. Plus, she never seems to... Let me scroll up. She never seems to be on the same page with men about communication. I'm always open to the conversation no matter how hard. How are y'all not always on the same I don't get that. How are you not always on the same page? Like, that's the first thing that y'all do before you, before he gets to the point where he wants to ask you to be his girlfriend. Like, y'all don't be having conversations. Like, I feel like a, a conversation tells you everything about the person. How little they respond to what you're stating. If they give you short answers. If they're not building on the conversation. I feel like that lets you know if they're really communicative or not. But um, I'm always open to the conversation no matter how hard. She also says, but my worst habit is needing the last word. (laughs) All I'm going to do is shake my head. Uh, Definitely a Virgo. (laughs) Lately, however, she describes her dating life as a bit bland. So she's looking to spice it up by letting love is blind work its magic. Interesting fit. Taylor. 30 years old, clean energy policy consultant. Okay. She's a Pisces, a scientist working in the clean energy. Taylor is more than familiar with experiments, but she never encountered one quite like Love is Blind. For the past few years, she has been prioritizing almost everything in her life over dating, focusing on building herself up first. 
Hope it's completed before entering into a serious relationship. But she always longed for a relationship like the one her parents have. They've been married for 35 years and showcased how great it is to be a partner. She says, now Taylor is ready to convert her love of me time into we time for a kind, intellectually curious and emotionally intelligent guy, which she tends to go for tall men with an athletic build and what's inside is what matters most. Key to my heart. Cliche, but yeah. This one here got some curves. She got a body on her. Jenny, 31 years old. She is an account training coordinator. Looks like she's the last one. Thank God, because I'm getting tired. <laughs> Bubbly an energetic Jenny. She is at the end of her rope with the useless and disappointing dating scene in D.C. Seems like she's quite desperate. Um, this is my last if look, this is my last and final shot. I'm going to have to move after this. <laughs> um, sometimes you got to do that, though. Sometimes you got to do that. But she said all she's ever wanted is to find a nurturing and supportive partner who can reciprocate her energy. Men should put themselves in our shoes and feel how vulnerable it is to date. We do. You just got to find the ones that let you know that. But men should put themselves in our shoes. Okay, yep. Women put a lot more effort into it and men forget that it counts. I don't think so. It's 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 equally distributed. You just got to find the right one. It just sounds like she ain't found the right one. But she doesn't want to date just anyone. She wants to find the one, even if he's taking his sweet time. And if he has effortless swag or sexiness to them, even if they're nerdy, Jenny will. So does she think nerdy ain't sexy? <laughs> Jenny will definitely want a second date. I'm time. Uh, I'm taking time to find the love of my life. She says I want it to last forever. She sounds desperate for it. So we'll see. I'm. I feel like she, I'm more interested in seeing how she's gonna pan out in this experience. She out of everybody is the one that I'm most. Very intrigued to see how she actually is in these pies tomorrow. So that's what I'm looking forward to. That's the cast, y'all. If y'all got through it with me struggling to read through it because it's so little. And then I'm sitting here thinking about what they're saying as I'm doing it. But first time doing it, I'm going to jump on this. The episodes drop tomorrow. I think it's going to be like maybe four. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to try and do the first one tomorrow and just keep it going until I catch up. But yeah. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you made it through this video... Please thumbs it up. Please drop a comment down below. This The interactions help push the video out. This is my first Love is Blind video, so I want to get in the algorithm, bring people to me. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.